what's up guys so today I'm gonna do a quick video on not comparing yourself to the average person now most people go two ways okay they either compare themselves constantly to average people or they compare themselves to people that are super extraordinary and they constantly beat themselves up for not achieving that or falling slightly behind and they kill themselves because they try too hard and compare themselves as something that's too close to perfect and basically this video is on avoiding both of those extremes um for me i usually well at least in the the recent time period i fall into the first category i used to compare myself at least in academics i always would compare myself to the the dude who would score 100 on tests oh dude he scored 100 but lately um i've sort of dropped that as long as i get like an a i don't really care if, about the percentages it's just um wasted effort when you could be spending your time elsewhere and it's only worth it if you really enjoy a subject and you really feel you're going to get something else out of it by spending that extra time in class but i feel like the most people watching this video you you're probably going to fall into the the first category and for me um that's what happened today and more so uh just in life in general and what that means is like let's say you um see a girl like i did and you fail to approach because you think to yourself oh i, I can't do it or whatever and let's say you you make up some sort of little like uh thing to comfort yourself let's say you say oh i didn't approach but i'm going to at least say hi to this employee at the this uh the store because that's me getting out of my comfort zone and i applaud you for that but if you're constantly comparing yourself to the average person and saying oh well at least i talked to this random employee at the store that's that's going out of my comfort zone and approaching it may not be as good as uh talking to a, a girl but at least i did it and i do applaud you for that but uh for me I feel like you can overuse that tremendously and you can end up like spending years using that excuse rather than actually improving and you, you just constantly say well I'm doing better than the average person the average person has never even approached a girl before I did it the other day and since I did it last week I'm never gonna do it again and then for the next week you see all these girls and you don't approach and that's a huge problem and i've sort of fallen into that again and that's pretty much the whole point of this video if you're constantly comparing yourself to average dude you're going to get average results and for me what average results meant was um uh, i feel like the average person the average male person he just goes about life just like not even caring about it just doing whatever you know semi trying in classes and so forth but not really like consciously of aware of what he's actually doing or really having a purpose and he just goes about life just doing whatever and what happens is he ends up um just luckily bumping into a girl who somewhat satisfies his standards and then he ends up settling for that person as a girlfriend and sometimes uh, that girl doesn't match his standards at all maybe she's uh, very bad for him or just like a terrible a terrible match and he's just willing to settle because uh, that's all he's done he stayed in his comfort zone his whole life he just takes what is served to him on a silver platter and I see that constantly and if you're constantly comparing yourself to the average person you're going to get average results like that and that for me that's what happened I but the difference was um, I realized uh, when I started college that 
I wasn't going to get any girl that was served to me on a platter. At least not one that I was even partially interested in. Um, and so because of that, I just realized I had to do something. I had to get out there and f figure it out myself and actually go out and find girls. And um, I think for the, for the most part, this is going to help me in the long run. I mean, I've yet to see big results. Um, and it kind of sucks. It really does suck. Uh, a lot of it has to do with me chickening out. Um, but a lot of times it has to do with me just getting outright rejected. And I feel like in the long run, I'm going to end up getting much better results.